Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Chaos in Southwest Nebraska, and today I thought I would share a story, a pretty comical one, about a, something that happened many, many years ago when I was skinnier and in slightly better shape playing junior high basketball, and I accomplished something in a game that I'm pretty sure nobody else ever has. I flipped my own dad, the bird, while playing the game. Yes, I did, and here's the kicker, I got away with it. Now... To set the stage. So, I used to, and still do on occasion, do an impression of Forrest Gump. You know, I just felt like running. I ran till I saw one ocean. I turned around and ran till I saw another ocean. But, this video is not about my Forrest Gump impression. This is about, again, flipping my dad the bird during a junior high basketball game. So what happened was we're playing this game, and it's been almost two decades, so some of the details are a little fuzzy, but we're playing this game, and either we stole the ball and took off on a fast break, or the opposing team did and took off on a fast break. Anyway, I take off running, and my dad hollers, Run, Forrest, run! And when he does that, I... Well, this is the... I will not flip off the camera. This is a family channel, remember this. I say that as I take a sip of beer parked in my driveway. Anyways, I flip him the bird, and it was not just a scratch my nose, middle finger, or the side of the neck. It was up in the air for all to see. Now, you're probably asking yourself two questions. One, why would a parent heckle his own son during a game? And two, how or why did you get away with it? Well, the first part question is easy. So, in small town America, about a block away from the school is the local pub. It's only a block away, it's grandfathered in, so it can be that close to the school. Well, some of the parents before and after games, in this case before, will stop by and have some adult beverages. My dad happened to partake in that. So, you know, he had, he was a little bit full, possibly, and he just decided to yell at me during the game. Now, how and why did you get away with it? Well, first of all, my dad, after having said adult beverages, he just laughed, so no big deal there. Well, how did you not get a technical? Eh, well, the ref went to high school with my dad, still good friends with him, and if I'd have been flipping anybody else off and he told me later on, he probably would have teed me up, but since it was going towards my dad, eh, he let it slide, and he tried not to... He tried to cover up his laughter during the game. Well, and then you're asking, what about opposing fans? Well, the fans knew my dad from our town, and the opposing fans, well, there was only one set of bleachers on the same side, so they didn't see it. But what about the coach? Well, the coach had been there long enough. He was also my dad's coach and PE teacher, and he knew how obnoxious and irritating and a royal pain in the butt my dad can be. Anyway, the next time we go to the sidelines, it was a timeout or something. He goes, he just said, I'll let that one slide because of your, it was your dad and he was heckling. Heckling, I can't exactly remember the words, but he goes, but don't do that again. But what about the administration? Well, same story. They knew my dad and somebody beat him to the punch and the superintendent goes, Brett, I'll let that slide because you were pointing the finger at your dad, but don't do that again. Anyway, and everybody else thought it was just funnier than hell. I think it's funnier than hell now that I look back on it. I still can't believe I got away with it. Anyway, there's no really no moral to the story other than I think it's funny that, and my dad still does too, that I flipped him off while playing a basketball game and nothing became of it. Uh, I guess I would say give some advice to parents and kids. Uh, parents... Don't have too many beers or other adult beverages and heckle kids that, especially teenagers at a game, especially your own kids and kids. If you are heckled by a game, even if it's your parents, don't throw them the middle finger. They probably, the coaches, administration, and referees probably won't be as understanding as them in my situation. 
So probably better avoid that. Anyways, I hope you got a good laugh out of this story. If you know me and my dad, I'm sure you're just rolling on the ground laughing in tears. But yes, this is, I did not make this up. This is a true story. It actually happens. I'd kind of forgotten about it till my dad reminded me of it at a family gathering while we were camping a couple few weeks ago. But anyways, hope everybody got a good laugh again and have a good rest of your day and chaos in Southwest Nebraska over and out.